Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Robinhood Trader. I'm your host Yasin, and I'm not a financial expert or a life professional. If you are thinking about investing in the stock market, please consult one and invest at your own risk. Always remember that it's your money. You worked hard for it. Do not just throw it into the stock market expecting some crazy gains without taking uh, the time to do the research. You know, you work a certain amount of um, hours and you get an hourly rate in exchange. Do the same exact thing for uh, the stocks you do buy and I can guarantee you that, you know, you will come up on top and you will have, you know, a crazy, crazy uh, gains coming up. One stock I am going to be talking about today is Ocugen Inc. Uh, they go by the ticker symbol OCGN and as you can see here, um, they engage in the development of commercialization of therapies for eye disease. And not only that, is um, they are a, uh, a um, facilitator of the COVID vaccine. As you can see here, this is their um, company website. And if we hear here the vaccine, uh, you'll see that Ocugen and Bharat Biotech uh, to co-develop co-vaccine a whole uh, viron inactivated COVID-19 vaccine for the U.S. market. But not only that, um, I do have another article here, and it says that Ocugen, it talks about how they were down 3% at $2.70 in pre-market hours on Friday, um, giving back some of what it gained yesterday on no news. Uh, the company's partner, Bharat, secured emergency use approval for its COVID-19 vaccine, co-vaccine, in India. And I think that's very, very, very uh, important. Why? Because there's still... Their vaccine is still in phase three trials in India. So we still don't have, you know, that big, big news of, hey, we have the vaccine ready. And we have seen, you know, uh, stocks like Moderna and Pfizer rally and gain some crazy um, percentages um, just because of that, hey, we got the vaccine. Now, India has a bigger population, about 1.3 um, billion uh, people living there. I mean, that's about three times a little over three times of the population in America. So uh, a vaccine to be sold to India is a vaccine we want to take part of. You know, we want to uh, gain some of those uh, earnings that are going to be, you know, in the third quarter, fourth quarter, and coming up then. It does say, last month, Ocugen appointed a vaccine scientific advisory board comprised of leading academic and industry experts in the vaccine field to evaluate the clinical and regulatory path to approval of co-vaccine in the United States. So we are playing in two different markets, the United States markets and the um, Indian market. Now, we do care about the U.S. Uh, market as well just because, um, you know, as more people are looking for this vaccine, we're going to have competitive pricing. And at the end of the day, uh, come in, let's say, um, April, May, June, when the summer does start hitting and the spring starts coming up, um, a lot of people are going to start wanting the vaccine and these insurance companies and a bunch of these hospitals are not going to look for, you know, uh, which vaccines are there, they're going to look for what's cheaper. Um, because a lot of times when you have to vaccinate more than 100 million people, you're not going to want, you know, the $20, the $30 vaccine. You're going to want a cheaper one. A $30, $30 vaccine for 100 million people, I mean, what is that? That's $3 billion. Not, nobody has $3 billion just sitting down there uh, trying to get a, pay for a vaccine. Uh, but, you know, if the vaccine is below $10, which I do think uh, oxygen is going to do, you know, uh, going into a market like India, they're not going to... Thirty dollars in rupees is a, a crazy number. Uh, so you know, uh, another thing that we are um, looking for in oxygen is the reason why it did lose a lot of um, its gainage uh, in the last, you know, January 11th to January 13th is for one thing and one thing only is that when you go on their website and you go on the news and events, you will see. Uh, let's let this load. You will see that in here. It's not on this one. Is it on the next one? Let's pull it up. All right, right here. Uh, you will see here that it says Oxygen Inc. announces the cancellation of stockholder meeting previously adjourned uh, to 11 a.m. Eastern Time on January 13th. Now, yes, yeah, sometimes this is bad, bad news. But when I did do further research, I have found that the reason why they um, canceled their uh, uh, meeting is because they already had an annual stockholders meeting on December 23rd of 2020, but adjourned the meeting with the plan to reconvene tomorrow. The sole reason for reconvening was to hold a vote on increasing the number of shares authorized for insurance, right? However, Occasions Management decided to withdraw withdraw we want these words you know so before they were thinking about adding more stocks and every time someone adds more stocks into you know when let's say you have a company of a million stocks and you want to print another million stocks well guess what 
your stocks are going to become worth less in comparison to the more stocks that are going to be, uh, you know, they're going to be uh, printed. So in here, think about it, you know, like the Federal Reserve, the more money they print, the, the, the dollar value goes down. Same thing with stocks, you know, when they, when they uh, create more stocks, it comes out of, it doesn't come out of thin air, it comes out of someone else's pocket. So, Oxygen's management decided to withdraw the proposal of issue more stocks. The continuation of December stockholder meeting, therefore, was no longer needed. You see? So, in one respect, this is good news for Oxygen shareholders. So, that's us. We're good. We're great. I think we should be doing fine. I think we're, we're actually, you know, I think we're, we're actually going to do pretty, pretty good come in this good news. I mean, we don't need another meeting, so that's fine. Let's take that out. Now, what else uh, is Oxygen doing? Well, in here it says uh, they're a uh, biopharmaceutical company focused on discovering, development, uh, commercializing gene therapies to cure blindness disease. So we're in another market, you know, we're in the, you know, in the, in the optometry uh, uh, industry. And I did look that up and I found that it's a $60 billion industry in 2018, it's grown by a percentage of about 4.3%. So, you know, that's a big, big market to come into. So now we're in two different markets. We're in the COVID-19 uh, SARS market vaccine, and we're also in the optometry market as well. And as you can see here, their mission is to develop gene therapies to cure blindness disease. I mean, what else do we need? I mean, blindness? I mean, who are we? Jesus Christ? I mean, think about it. This company is main goal to develop gene therapy to cure blindness disease. I mean, what else do you really need? And as you can see here, we're pretty early in the stock. You know, some of these stocks, once something happens, uh, like you know, they go into phase one or phase two, or their preclinical gets um, you know approved. That's when these stocks rally. And we're still in the preclinical in the RQ400 for treatment of inherited uh, retinal disorder. Still preclinical. So we're still good. We're still pretty early. Now the second one, RQ410. We're not we're, we're we haven't even finished our preclinical for for treatment of dry age related uh, macular degeneration. And for the next one, RQ200, the treatment of neovascular disorders will still pretty good. So I do think that you know Oxygen is a good stock to enter. You know, enter precaution. Uh, you know, use precautions. Of course, do not just buy in. Like I always tell you guys, with these penny stocks, you got to be glued to your phone and do not just buy in at once. Always buy in in increments. So make a budget. You know, uh, okay, I'm gonna have a hundred dollars to to join to to enter this Oxygen market. What am I gonna do? And buy in. You know, instead of buying in at once, buy in slowly average out average down average up if it's going down you know keep keep buying 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 so then you know you can at least uh gain some of that dip if it's going up might as well buy some more on the way up and maybe sell on top and and take care of the of the rally and then maybe it'll go down and we can buy some more but i think oxygen in the long run this is a one time big stock it's one of those good 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 penny stocks it says here it's 100 most popular it is a pharma stock, and we know that you know with this president um, Biden, these pharma stocks are gonna all boom. If they don't boom, then these uh, companies were not telling us the truth, truth. They were not factual in the beginning, and they were not working or anything. A lot of these companies are gonna get government grants. A lot of these companies are gonna get you know uh, federal laws, and they're gonna get uh, regulators just helping them on the way to to, to kind of advancing. Uh, Democrats like innovation of the pharmaceutical companies. They like innovation. They do not they do not stop these companies from, you know, uh, going out and trying to find uh, the next cure of cancer, the next cure of blindness, the next cure of anything. Um, these pharma stocks are going to eat, 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 and we're going to be there eating with them. So do I think Oxygen is a buy? Yes. Yes, I do think it's a buy. I mean, for the last month or so, it's up 700%. This was this stock was in the 29 cents. Do I think it's going to go down below 29 cents? No. Do I think it's going to go down 29 cents? No. This is a good stock to own. The, the Not only are they still in phase three for, you know, the, the co-vaccine, but they still have their own products coming into a $60 billion company, uh, $60 billion uh, industry. This is a great stock to own. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Please leave a like. Um, if you can comment down there, do you think Oxygen is a good company to own? Uh, I think it's a great company to own. It's one of those um, other ones. Maybe I'll pick up 100 shares, uh, maybe 50. Hopefully, maybe soon enough they can open up uh, option trading with this. So maybe we can sell some puts or maybe sell some calls in the future. But I do think this is one of those stocks that will climb up to $10. No time. You know, give it one more year. Give it maybe uh, a few more months or so, and this thing will start gaining momentum. Maybe another 700% coming in soon, and then we'll go from there. A lot of these vaccine companies are 
going to get funded. I mean, 100%. Uh, we need more vaccines. There's 7 billion people in the world. We barely have uh, half of my neighborhood vaccinated. You, do you think... Do you think we we, we have uh, we have enough vaccine companies? No, don't don't let, don't let the news uh, fool you. Don't let your neighbor fool you. There's let we don't have that many vaccines. There's just a little bit. There's a small fraction, a very very small fraction in the millions. There's a billions, a billions, a billion is a thousand times a million. Just remember that a thousand times a million. So yeah, so um, you know, leave me a comment down there. Just whatever stock you want me to look at as well. And um, I hope you guys subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.